In 2022, a painting titled Theater Dapper Spatial took first place in the digital art category at the Colorado State Fair, a highly competitive show with entries from talented, experienced artists across the region. Many had poured years into honing their skills. Yet when the award was announced, it went to a piece produced not by a human hand, but by an algorithm. Created using a program called Midjourney, guided by a human yet generated by AI, this win sent shockwaves through the art world. It was a milestone, proof that AI could create art that resonated deeply with people, that could hold its own against human-made creations, even outshine them. Meanwhile, AI chatbots like Wobot, programmed to deliver cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, are now being used to provide mental health support to millions of users globally. Unlike traditional therapy, these bots are available anytime, programmed with empathy responses, and offer guidance that mimics the structure of real therapy. It's accessible, efficient, and for some, it's a comforting option. The lines between human and machine guidance start to blur, and as patients report feeling supported, there's a growing realization that the job of a therapist, something long thought to require human warmth and understanding, might not be as untouchable as once assumed. In journalism, automated systems now pump out breaking news stories and sports updates within seconds of events occurring. The Associated Press and New York Times has been using automation for years to report on financial earnings and local sports, creating concise, accurate updates at a speed no human journalist can match. These AI writers don't have an opinion, don't require sleep, and aren't prone to errors born from fatigue. In each of these cases, AI has stepped into roles once reserved for human hands and minds. These aren't far-flung future scenarios, they're already happening. If AI can produce award-winning art, provide emotional support, and report breaking news, what job is truly safe? The Robot Next Door In the years after the pandemic, companies learned something unsettling. Many jobs could function without humans in the room, or without humans at all. Virtual customer service representatives replaced agents in call centers. Warehouses filled with machines doing the heavy lifting, while office workers realized that a lot of what they did could be automated. The pandemic was like a test run, showing companies how easily they could adapt, and now AI is making those temporary adjustments permanent. The World Economic Forum warns that AI systems will displace 83 million jobs worldwide by 2028. Not just factory workers or call center agents, those roles have already been thinning for years. No, this wave cuts deeper. Doctors, teachers, lawyers, even artists and writers. Professions once thought immune from automation are now firmly in the crosshairs. It's happening faster than anyone expected. ChatGPT, which only emerged in 2022, now drafts legal documents, consults patients about their symptoms, and writes TV scripts that once took entire teams of creatives to produce. Experts from Oxford University, who once speculated that automation would take decades to penetrate highly skilled roles, have revised their predictions, AI isn't a distant threat. It's here. And it's hungry. In California, some hospitals now run diagnostic scans through AI before human doctors ever see the results. Radiologists, once revered for their expertise, are suddenly finding themselves double-checking the work of machines. And in South Korea, some children are already being taught by AI-powered tutors that adapt faster and more accurately to their learning needs than human teachers ever could. It's not just doctors and teachers. Writers and designers, those who trade in imagination, aren't safe either. AI-generated music streams on Spotify. Entire marketing campaigns, complete with slogans and brand identities, are crafted by algorithms. A pulse. A heartbeat. Something alive, messy, and unpredictable. That's the essence of what makes us human, and it's also what makes some jobs impossible for AI to steal. Sure, artificial intelligence is brilliant in ways that dazzle us. It solves equations faster than any mathematician, analyzes data without breaking a sweat, and can compose music that sounds eerily like something a human might write. But there are some things AI will never understand. Not fully. 
And that's where hope lies, for the people whose jobs are built on the things that can't be coded or learned from a data set. Take therapy, for instance. AI chatbots like Wobot can talk you through tough moments, and mental health apps offer pre-programmed advice. But let's be real, no machine can truly feel what it's like to sit across from someone, look them in the eye, and say, I understand. Hollywood screenwriters are grappling with existential fears as studios experiment with AI tools to churn out scripts. What was once a quirky gimmick has evolved into an unstoppable force. And it's only getting worse. AI isn't just a tool, it's learning, refining, and becoming more competent with each iteration. When ChatGPT4 was released, it shocked researchers with its ability to solve complex legal puzzles, interpret nuanced philosophical arguments, and even pass advanced medical licensing exams. Every upgrade brings it closer to mastering tasks once considered too intricate for a machine. The anxiety is real, and it's spreading. A Pew Research survey reveals that over 70% of people fear significant job losses within their industries due to AI. Entire sectors are bracing for impact. In law, firms are downsizing their junior staff, knowing that AI can now handle case research and prepare documents in minutes, where it once took associates days. Retail companies are automating checkout lines, while delivery services test out drone fleets and self-driving vehicles. With AI and automation advancing rapidly, what will be the future role of humans? The heartbeat AI can't imitate. Real therapy isn't just about words. It's about the pauses, the silences, the gut-level connection when someone knows they're being heard by another human being. Machines might be good at simulating empathy, but they don't have skin in the game. They don't carry the weight of being human. And in those delicate moments, when a person is unraveling and needs someone to share their burden, nothing can replace the comfort of human presence. The same goes for healthcare workers. AI can assist with diagnoses, predict outcomes, and even guide surgeries with robotic precision. But when a patient lies in a hospital bed, scared and vulnerable, they don't need a flawless algorithm. They need a person who holds their hand, who listens without interrupting, who reassures them with nothing more than a kind smile. The magic of nursing, for example, lies in the in-between moments, the way a nurse might sense that a patient is in pain even before they say a word or how they instinctively know when someone needs a bit more time to feel safe. No matter how advanced AI becomes, it can't replicate the warmth of human care. Healing isn't just about medicine, it's about connection. And education teachers, too, are irreplaceable in ways that defy automation. AI tutors excel at drilling facts and providing immediate answers, but real teaching goes beyond simply delivering content. It involves understanding which students need encouragement and which need a challenge. It's about adapting in real time, scrapping a lesson plan because the class isn't responding, or finding a way to spark curiosity in a kid who feels lost. Teaching is messy and unpredictable, like life itself. And it requires a kind of emotional radar that AI simply doesn't have. A good teacher isn't just filling minds with knowledge. They're shaping lives, inspiring kids to see the world and themselves differently. The truth is, AI just can't handle jobs that need human intuition, ethics, and empathy. Social workers, for instance, don't just follow a checklist. They read between the lines and make tough, compassionate calls. Judges go beyond case law to consider context and fairness. Firefighters make split-second, life-saving decisions. Journalists investigate, empathize, and tell human stories. Even chefs, with their instinct for flavor and creativity, bring something AI can't replicate. These are roles where real human understanding is irreplaceable. The future might be filled with AI-powered tools, but it's also going to need human hands, minds, and hearts more than ever. Technology will change how we work, yes, but it won't erase the need for those of us who can connect, adapt, and empathize in ways no machine ever will. So, if you're worried that AI will take over everything, don't be. Some things are simply out of reach for even the most advanced machines. And those things, the heartbeat of real connection, real care, and real creativity, are exactly what make life worth living. 
and as long as those things matter, there will always be work that only humans can do. There's an example that perfectly captures the limits of AI. In 2016, Microsoft launched an AI chatbot named Tay on Twitter, designed to learn from interactions with users and respond like a friendly, conversational bot. But within 24 hours, Tay went off the rails. Exposed to the Internet's darker side, the chatbot started posting offensive, racist, and nonsensical tweets. Microsoft had to pull it offline quickly, issuing an apology and acknowledging that, even with sophisticated programming, the bot lacked the ability to distinguish between right and wrong or understand social nuance. It was a clear reminder that, for all its power, AI can't yet grasp the complexities of human behavior. And that's where we, as humans, come in. 